Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for considering breaking up with my fiancé after she got injured while I was away. While I third him was away on a business trip, my fiancé 30 twaf went out without letting me know. We talked in the afternoon while I was on my way to the airport for an eight-hour flight that would land at 5 a.m. She mentioned that her friend had just gotten back from out of state and she was planning to take her out to dinner. Once I landed, I didn't want to wake her since she usually gets up around 7. When I got home, I noticed her car was parked outside, but she wasn't in bed. For a moment I panicked, thinking maybe she'd gone to the airport to surprise me and somehow I missed her, but her car was right there. I tried calling her, but it went straight to voicemail. I called 10 more times while I showered and changed, trying not to worry, but darker scenarios started running through my mind. We have our phones on our iCloud account in case we lose them, so I bring it up to find her location. Her iPhone was at the hospital. My heart sank. I start heading to the hospital. All her family live out of state so there's no one to call. The hospital is 10 minutes away. I speed, run red lights, park right in front of the emergency department door, and go in like a maniac demanding the triage staff tell me where my wife is. They take me to her room. She's asleep in bed, but I can immediately see she's hurt. Her lip is swollen and she looks like she's been beaten up. Bruises on her face, splint thing on her nose. My panic and worry morph into rage, and I demand to know what happened and who did this to her. I was informed that she arrived in an ambulance at Tulum, having drunkenly stumbled and face splinted onto the curb while leaving a bar. She had a broken nose, chipped tooth, and other minor abrasions and scratches but she was going to be fine. This made absolutely no sense. I seriously feel like I'm in the twilight zone. I don't drink, never have, and she hasn't touched alcohol since college basically. I don't even know what's happening at this point. She's tried to offer up some kind of explanation about how her friend pressured her to have wine while they were at dinner, and then they somehow ended up in a bar, she apparently has no recollection and teleported there. I've been giving her the silent treatment and it's 8 p.m. She has been crying and wanting some sort of consolment or reassurance, but I genuinely think I'm done. This whole thing just came out of left field, and I'm not handling it well at all. We've been living together since we got engaged and it would be a pretty clean split. Her parents own the house so I can basically just take my stuff and go, I guess. I really don't know what to do, we've been together a year and a half, and I feel like we could get past this, but it's like this whole ordeal and the emotional roller coaster have sapped away the love I felt for her. Anyways, sorry for the novel, but WIBTA if I dump her. Comments Beyond Zardos YTA, this is kinda a big overreaction to someone going out to drink and getting hurt. Seems like you were just looking for an out to the relationship and this is the most convenient way. OP She's definitely not cheating or sneaking around like some people seem to think. We also have great insurance so the medical bills are no issue. It's definitely the first time anything like this has happened. She is super responsible and mature, which I one of the things that has made us so compatible. She's always so dignified and composed, which is one of the things I love most about her. Seeing her like this, and learning about how it happened just kind of shattered the image I had of her in my mind. She is super embarrassed about it which doesn't really help. Limp Local 9071 Seems like you posted on two subs. Maybe hoping for better answers. Ike. But the general consensus on both posts thus far is that you're the ah, and I agree. She very well could have been drugged if she doesn't remember everything that happened she's in pain and probably scared as well. She needs love and care. But instead, you have your panties in a bunch and are angry with her. Mainly from what I gather, you're angry because she went out and didn't tell you. You're her BF, not her parent. She thought she was probably just having a drink with a friend. Just because you never drink and she hasn't had one in a long time doesn't mean she was irresponsible. It doesn't mean her getting hurt is her fault. Things happen. You're mad she did something you don't like to do and didn't tell you about it. Else she probably needed a damn drink while you were away because her BF is an insufferable jerk. 
which is probably why she didn't tell you she went out in the first place. You didn't lose love for her. You never had true love for her in the first place. If you did love her, none of this would even be a question for you in the first place. So, do her a favor and leave her because she deserves better. She deserves someone who truly loves her and will take care of her when she needs it the most, instead of turning their back on her like you. Why Tay times infinite? OOP, I get it. I'm Ta. Enough people mentioned that she was roofied so we went and got a drug panel done that came back clean. She just had too much to drink. Just to clarify since a lot of you said I'm controlling or whatever, I'm really not. She's free to go out, with or without telling me, it's just she normally always tells me her plans exactly which is why this was so abnormal. Also, I never said I had a problem with her drinking, she's a grown woman and she can do whatever she wants. It's just that she never drinks which is why this was so shocking. She has a concussion, which we are blaming for the trouble remembering, I don't think she was blackout drunk and neither does she. I'm not trying to defend my initial reaction, but I have a very stressful job, which has taken its toll on my mental health for sure, and I make an effort to eliminate any sort of non-work-related stress as a matter of necessity. Coming back to my wife in the hospital seriously injured was absolutely devastating and I know that I didn't react well. My first thoughts were that she was attacked by someone, which infuriated me and made me want to go find whoever that was. Once I realized there was nobody to blame for this except her, some of those negative emotions were directed towards her. I'm not saying it's right, but I can't control how I feel. Let me also be clear about one thing, I wasn't ignoring her, I just really didn't know what to say to her and I wanted to let her rest. I was processing the situation, and I knew if I didn't control what I said I might say something that blamed her or was hurtful or something along those lines. Which is why I decided to hold my tongue until I sorted out my feelings. Yes, I know I'm the ah. Uh. Edit. She broke off the engagement. We had a long talk, and apparently I've been cold and unsupportive, I disagree, but whatever, and she feels betrayed by my attitude. She thinks my expectations are unrealistic and that she's a human not a robot. She said she needs someone who can let her fail, and I am not that person. Update We broke up after being engaged for six months. One night when we were at her parents' place her father gave it to me as a gift. It was shortly after we got engaged, and it wasn't my birthday or anything like that, there was no occasion he just gave it to me and said, I want you to have this. He took it off his wrist. I'm unlikely to ever see him again as he lives in California and I live in New York. He hasn't asked for it back nor has my ex. I doubt she has any clue what it's worth but I've had it appraised and it's worth over $70 and K. W.I.B. Tay if I keep the watch and don't say anything. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.